Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we will discuss about computing for the parameter and statistic. Parameter is the measurement or quantity that describe the population. So sa previous video lesson natin, pinaliwanag natin yung population that is the entire respondents or yung total respondents. Pag sinabi naman natin statistic, this is the measurement or quantity that describe the sample. So, pag sinabi natin sample, that is the subset of population. For example, we have uh, this situation. Now, below our score in general mathematics of grade 11 STEM knowledge, during the summative test, compute the population mean, population variance, and population standard deviation. So, this the Ito yung mga score no, na nakuha nung grade 11 STEM knowledge. Meron tayong 10 estudyante na nakakuha ng score na 54, 35, 38, 29, 28, 25, 39, 41, 34, and 27. So, una natin kukumpute yun is yung population uh, mean. So, I-represent natin yung population mean sa symbol na to. No? Ang base natin dyan is mu. So, mu is equal to the summation of x over n. So, wherein i-add lang natin lahat ng given values divided by kung ilan yung, ilan yung lahat nun. Okay? So, where uh, itong base natin dito, so sa symbol na to, this is the population mean. Pero ang symbol na to, this is mu. Okay? And then, summation of x, this is the summation of x or the sum of the me measures of all the given data. And n is the number of elements in the population. So, kagaya nga kanina, no, yung binigay sa situation natin, merong 10 estudyante at ito yung score nila during, sa, during summative test. So, kukunin natin yung population mean using this formula. So, ang gagawin lang natin, add lang natin lahat yan. So, add nyo yung lahat ng na, sampung scores na yan. I-add lang natin at divide natin sa 10. Kasi uh, yung n natin represented as the number of elements since meron tayong 10 number of elements. no So, divide lang natin. Once na na-add natin to so kapag in natin yan, that is 350. And then, 350 divide 10, the answer is 35. So, pwede yung i-double check yung sagot natin using your calculator. So, kapag may napansin kayo na merong mali sa sagot natin, pwede nyo naman i-comment yan sa, uh, sa comment section ng video tutorial na to. Okay, next is to compute the population variance and standard deviation. So, ito yung formula na gagamitin natin for population variance. So, ang basa natin dito is the uh, sigma squared. No? The sigma squared. So, ang symbol that is sigma squared is equal to the summation of x minus the population mean squared over n. So, sa population standard deviation naman, so by the way, yung standard deviation class ay madali lang kunin. Kapag nakuha na natin yung population variance natin, Kunin lang natin yung square root ng sagot natin sa population variance. So, where your x is the given data, and this symbol is the population mean, and n is the number of elements in the population. So, kagaya ng given natin, so yung given natin kanina, ito yon yung sampung score ng grade 11 students. Okay, so kukumpute natin yung population variance using this formula. So, kanina, uh, kasi kakailanganin natin, kapag nag-compute tayo ng population variance, kailangan natin yung value ng population mean natin. So, kanina, na-compute na natin sa previous slide, and that is 35. So, paano natin kukunin yung population variance? So, kung meron namang calculator, madali lang yung class. So, isa-isahin natin, so, yung bawat score, ima-minus natin sa nakuha natin population mean, Squared. So, isa-isahin natin. So, unahin muna natin yung 54. 54 minus 35 squared plus 25 minus 35 squared. 
So, lahat ng ito class, lahat ng score, ima-minus natin kay 35. So, using this formula. And then, squared nyo. Plus, hanggang sa makarating kayo sa dulo. And that is plus 27 minus 35 squared. So, hindi ko na nilagay lahat kasi masyadong mahaba. So, basta class, ang gagawin nyo lang, bawat isa, ima-minus nyo sa nakuha nating population mean and then squared hanggang sa makarating kayo sa dulo. Kung gaano karami ito, ganun ang gawin nyo. So, kapag uh, ginawa nyo na yan, okay, sisimplify natin and that is 672. So, yung summation ng x minus the population mean squared natin is 672 over n. So, 672 divide 10. Bakit 10 ulit? Kasi 10 yung elements natin. So, 672 divide 10, the answer is 67.2. So, ito na yung population variance natin. To compute the population standard deviation, sabi ko nga kanina, madali na lang kapag meron ka ng population variance. Bakit? Ang pagkuha ng population standard deviation, so ito na lang din yung symbol, okay? By the way, class, sa population variance, may squared. No? Dito, sa standard deviation, sigma na lang. Wala siyang squared. So, kukunin nyo lang yung square root nung sagot nyo sa population variance. And that is square root of 67.2. Uh, The answer is 8.20. So again, uh, balikan lang natin. Yung population mean natin is 35. Population variance is 67.2. And then yung population standard deviation is 8.20. So the population mean, population variance, and population standard deviation are what we call parameters. Okay. So, ano naman yung sa statistic? So, from the previous data of the population, suppose that we randomly select only 5 data out of total 10 data in the population. Compute the sample mean, sample variance, and sample standard deviation. So, ito yung sampung score kanina no? na present ko sa inyo. Kukuha lang daw tayo, uh, magsiselect tayo randomly ng 5. So, let's say, Napili natin is 54, 39, 41, 29, and 27. So, yan yung lima. So, paano natin kukumputin ngayon yung sample mean, sample variance, and sample standard deviation? So, to compute the sample mean, uh, ganun lang din yung proseso. Add lang natin yun, tapos divide n. Yun nga lang, nag-iba lang yung symbol. No? Yung sample mean natin, Uh, ito na, yung x tapos may bar sa taas. So, ganun lang din yung symbol na gagawin where x the sample mean and the summation of x is the uh, yung total nung kapag in natin lahat ng elements. And yung n natin is the number of elements in the sample. So, ito yung lima na sinelect natin randomly mula dun sa sampung score. Okay? ba diba sa... First, uh, dun sa situation natin, meron tayong sampung score. Kasi dito, kinukompute natin yung sample mean na pumili lang tayo ng lima. It, at ito yon. To compute the sample mean, so add lang din natin 54 plus 39 plus 41 plus 29 plus 27 over 5. And the answer is 190 divide 5. Our sample mean is 38. So, pwede nyo rin ito i-double check no? using your uh, calculator. To compute the sample variance is standard deviation. So, ito na yung formula na gagamitin natin. Kapag sample variance and sample standard deviation, ang formula natin na gagamitin dito sa denominator natin, n minus 1 na. ba diba? sa population variance, n lang. Dito, n minus 1. And then, yung symbol na gagamitin natin dito, yung S squared. Okay, kanita kasi sigma, di ba? Dito naman, small letter S, tapos may squared. So, sa sample standard deviation naman, ang gagawin lang natin, kunin lang natin yung square root ng sample variance. So, where your X is the given data, and this is the sample mean, and the number of elements in the sample. Kagaya ng pag-solve sa population variance, so kakailanganin din natin yung uh, sample mean natin dito. 
So, ito yung lima na nakuha natin, no? In random the selection. So, and then yung sample mean natin is 38. To compute the sample variance, substitute lang natin sa formula. So, kagaya ng ginawa natin sa population variance, isa-isahin natin to, ima-minus sa 38. Doon sa sample mean. And then squared. So, 54 minus 38 squared plus 39 minus 38. So, uh, this one bit count 38 dapat. Palitan natin to. So, kapag napansin nyo class na meron tayong um, correction no, sa solution natin, pwede nyo i-comment sa comment section nito ng video tutorial para makorek ko rin at mapin natin. So, kapag uh, sinimplify natin to, that is 468, bakit 4 na lang? Kasi n minus 1. Di ba? Lima sila. So, 5 minus 1, that is 4. So, 468 divide 4, the answer is 117. So, ibig sabihin, the sample variance is 117. Next is, kunin natin yung sample standard deviation. So, s na lang ha, wala nang squared. Ang symbol kapag kukunin yung sample standard deviation. Square root of 117 The answer is 10.82. Okay. So, ito yung sample mean natin, 38. The sample variance, 117. The sample standard deviation, 10.82. So, the sample mean, sample variance, and sample standard deviation are what we call statistic. Okay. Test yourself. So, I'll give you... This problem, the following are score of students in their quiz. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Compute the population mean, compute the population variance, and compute the population standard deviation. Another, the following are the three score of the students above that are randomly selected. 2, 4, and 5. So, compute the sample mean, compute the sample variance, and compute the sample standard deviation. So, pwede nyo i-post muna yung video, saka nyo i-play ulit para makita yung sagot. So, alright, the answer for number 1 is 3. And for number 2, the population variance is 2. And for number 3, the population standard deviation is 1.41. For number 4, the sample mean is 3.67. And for the sample variance, that is 2.33. And for the sample standard deviation is 1.53. Okay, so kung nakakuha tayo ng 6, congratulations sa inyo. So kung hindi man, okay lang. No? Pwede balikan yung video lesson para ma-practice tayo. So pwede nyo i-share kung ilang score ang nakuha nyo sa um, exercises nito. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.